Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going a little bit old school today. I'm bringing back my famous Lizardman build. Well, I say famous, it's famous for me. It's the most common build that has been on this channel. I'm going to be going up against the Chaos today. So, as most of you know, if you've seen this channel before, my army is going to be built up of three units of Temple Guard, two in the front line, and the Star Chamber Guardians in the back. These give, guys give Guardian, which is a physical resist to all heroes and lords nearby, and overall they're just very tanky and good. Now, on either flank, I do have Skink Cohorts and a unit of Skink Cohort Javelins, just to make my line a little bit wider and help deal with things like Marauders and Marauder Horsemen. I do have the Umbral Tide, so these guys are the Regiment Renowned Salamanders. They have in fact replaced the Ancient Salamander that I used to run. I really like these guys, they have Stalks, so they can't be you know, sniped out from long range. They're anti-large to help deal with those big targets. However, they are a little bit squishy, so if your opponent does manage to catch them, they can be broken rather quickly. I do have Bastilladon with a Revivification Crystal over here for a little bit of healing. The Feral Connoisseur, who is going to be working as a bodyguard today. But the Henowin, who's up here on his big golden pimp chair, He's going to be dropping all types of spells. Let's see what I've brought. I think it's the standard build of Transformation of Kadon for those Mantor summons, Flock of Doom, Wyson's World Form, or Wyson's World Form, not quite sure how to say that, and the Burning Alignment, which comes with his big chair. Now, for my opponent today, he has gone heavy into the Chaos Warriors of Halberd, which are really good against dinosaurs, so it's, you know, it's a good idea. Most of them are chosen with Halberd, so these guys are super elite. They're the toughest of the tough, they're going to do an absolute ton of damage to my big dinos. He also has a unit of Chaos Warhounds, so a bit of backline harass. He's got some Marauder Horsemen, and also some Marauder Horse Masters. Are these guys Horse Masters? Well, no, one unit of Horsemen, one unit of Horse Masters, so a bit of harass. They're also good against the big dinosaurs, as they can flank around and just start throwing in their javelins. My opponent today is led by Archon, the ever-chosen himself, riding down the hill here on his flaming horse with his flaming sword, just looking very menacing. I've faced this guy quite a lot recently, he seems quite a popular pick. So let's get this underway. Now, I did actually pick this battlefield myself. I didn't quite realise it was going to be such an uphill fight, but it is what it is. I actually met this player, um, I think his name is now, I think it's Calador. We'll see you at the end of the battle, but yeah, Calador. I met him on ladder, we played a couple of times in a row, he actually defeated my Alistair Nar build. So we hopped onto some multiplayer ourselves into like a private lobby and did a few games, a really nice guy. I believe at one point he said he was top 50 in the game, so he's a very competitive player, so it's nice to you know, try my hand against someone who's done this for a long time. So opponent is trying to flank around the sides of the horsemen, they are being escorted by the hounds. But Umbral Tide has revealed itself, firing a few shots into Archeon. But we didn't do much damage. I'm not sure if Archeon it has any fire resistance. I assume he might do because of you know the flaming sword and flaming horse. Which might hurt to hold a little bit if he didn't. But I'll have to research into that and look into it. Umbral Tide have now switched to a better target of the Marauder Horse Masters. And I've torn them up quite nicely there. Gotten them down about a quarter health. The Skinks are going to be charging into the Chaos Marauders on this flank and on the other flank. It's a bit of a wet noodle contest. Marauders would normally win, but I do have some javelins thrown in as well, poison them down. Archeon does spot a little gap to get onto Umbral Tide. With the Feral Carnosaur coming along and to when he does fall back. Now he's trying to pull my Lord out of position here and into these Hellbirds. I do recognise this and I do turn around and fall back to the safety of the Star Chamber Guardians. The front line has engaged. The Temple Guard are taking quite a lot of damage against the Chosen. The Chosen are very elite, whereas on the left hand side the Temple Guard are giving it to these Chaos Warriors a little bit. I do summon the Feral Manticore here. Just to help, you know, uh, hunt down these mortal horsemen who can do a lot of damage. Pop into these back of the hounds to try and save these kicks. Now I was trying to be quite reserved with the Henowin and the Feral Colossal. I didn't want to chuck them into the rather nasty chosen with Halberd, so we're going to be good against them. But I saw my Temple Guard were really struggling, so I know I need to chuck them in. And they do still have the resistance from the cha Star Chamber Guardians. They do get that Guardian bonus, so I moved them in anyway. Home does respond by chucking in Archeon into the Henowin. They do give him a little hint boost from his own spell. And the Feral Council does run in to start doing some serious damage to Archeon himself. Fortunately, my Umbral Tide have been managed to be get caught. One by some chosen halberds who went round the flank, and they've been running from the hounds, and unfortunately, some Royal Horse Masters. So it looks like these guys are a little bit doomed, but they will get one last volley off to do some serious damage. They did do manage to do a little bit of damage to the game, however, my opponent was really on. Backline harass. Now the big burning alignment blitzing its way down this engagement right here. Doing some serious damage to these very expensive chosen with Halberds and these Chaos Warriors right here as they do get charged in the flank by the skin cohort. I believe themselves did take a little bit of friendly fire, but they're only skins. It's all in part of the old one's great plan. 
online engagement is not going too bad. I've done an absolute whooping on the Arch on the Ever Chosen. Carnosaur has gone completely berserk into out of control. As long as he's tackling the right targets, I don't mind too much. Now, the Bastilgon here did manage to scare off his Chaos Marauders. He's kind of flooding in as well, trying to give Gahark a bit of a smack, but he's a little bit slow to still have gone. His little skinks are going to be chasing after him, throwing their jab. I do try and pull my forces back here to the Scarred Chamber Guardians, who have been taking quite a hammer in the whole battle, but have been very brave and haven't fled. They're down to nearly 50% morale with their lord nearby. These guys just really do not like running away. Now, the Temple Guard on left hand flank did manage to break through these Chaos Warriors. They're chasing them off, they have shattered, and they're going to be trying to come back to the main battle. However, one of my Temple Guard itself is routed. I do get a little flock of Doom here. Often the Marauder Horse Masters really trying to get that last little bit of HP down and try and break them. Feral Manticore effort here is just flying around. I believe he's going after Archeon, just trying to get a little bit more damage to him as he is getting quite low. We take a look at the battlefield as a whole. I am quite surrounded now, however, power balance is actually in my favour as I still have fairly powerful Lord quite healed up. For Stilladon, I believe the console may unfortunately have run by this point. about is he? I can't see him on the battlefield, so he may have even died by this point. Which is, under there is, he's off in the distance running away, which isn't very good. And these Temple Guard are getting hammered down. Unfortunately, what's left of my opponent's army is mainly these Children of Halberds, who've got two healthy units in the middle here. And they're going to be great at taking down the Hennowen. He will do a ton of damage back to them, but at the same time, he's still a large target, and these guys are really good anti large armor piercing themselves. Feral Consort does rally, and I'm trying to get him over to this pocket of strength up here. With these Temple Guard, which did break through, I've got my heroes over here. Well, my one Lord and the Bastilladon. Well, these brave, brave, brave Star Chamber Guardians will hold up this entire force. They have finally broken, with only 14 of them left. I don't believe those guys are likely to come back. I do have a few rallying Temple Guard on the flank here, who have managed to be very sneaky and get into these Marauder Horsemen, and they'll be cutting these guys down super quick. Fortunately for me, the console does take a bit of damage. I did drop another burn in alignment, all these troops are starting to move towards me, so I've scared them off for now. But it is a swing and a miss, and I think the only damage I actually do there is to my own skin cohort for running away, so great micro by my opponent. Money now these units are all coming together again. I'm trying to double team these chosen here with both my big dinosaurs. And my temper guard are going to be rallying to Hennowin, trying to get in here, in here and really try and do some damage to these halberds, hoping my big dinosaurs can focus on other targets. We're taking another one more overlooking arc of the whole battlefield. I have a few skinks coming back, but nothing that important. Really, my entire strength is in this tiny pocket here. Got a few temper guard there, but they're not going to do too much. It's this unit with 42 models, so they're still a little bit healthy, and my big dinos. So I'm going to fast forward here a little bit, just because it is a bit of a grind, as it often is with my Lizman build. And as we can see, it's me just kind of trying to walk around. I'm trying to snipe out Archeon wherever I can. He does keep trying in to get a little bit of poke action. And every time I try and scare them off, I'm really trying to break them at the moment. As I do have two big pterosaurs and dinosaurs here. My hope is that these guys are quite injured now. They don't have the best morale left. If I do manage to kill Archeon, hopefully I'll be able to shatter these guys off the battlefield. Archeon is coming running in back in again, trying to attack the back of Tenowin. But still is having none of it, and does himself charge in. It almost looks like it's going to instantly break these Marauder Horsemen. Few units from my opponent has tried to shatter and run away, which is all good for me. I still do have the unit of Temple Guard just about fighting here. There is only 17 of them left, and there they do, they do just start the route. And the Star Chamber Guns have actually returned, and they're going to be giving that good Guardian bonus to Henowin, who is also getting healed by the Bastilladon. Fortunately, Bastilladon has taken quite a lot of damage now and is very close to breaking themselves. But he does have a little buff down put on them, they should do a little bit of damage. It looks like that's the last of the Temple Guard, just about to run away. They do have Stand Your Ground on them, but as soon as that goes, these guys are going to run. They're fighting literally to the last man here. There's just this one Temple Guard left, looking very menacing as he does. I'm afraid I think he might go. Actually, he's actually recovering a little bit of uh, morale there. So he stands he stands alone on the pile of bodies, and here he comes back into action too. I was once again trying to get onto Archeon, and as you can see, I did do a ton of damage to him. However, he is going to come in and try and finish off this last poor Temple Guard. He was still breathing there, so... Oh no, unfortunately, that was his last breath. I'm trying to pull the still an hour a little bit. Then we're getting very close to another hill. I was hoping with one more hill, I might be able to pimp up to Henwin just enough. 
they'd be able to shuck these units off and really start to break Archeon. So he'll come in with another smack. Once again, Archeon does start running away. Unfortunately for me, my Bastilladon does start to route just before I got that heal off, which could be really key. That extra little bit of health might have really helped me break these units. The Henwin was trying to move over just to rally this Bastilladon, but I've seen him get attacked from behind. I realised I needed to turn and fight and stand my ground. Drop any buffs or any magic spells that I had left and just try and do as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, he is surrounded here by all these halberds. These Chaos Warriors aren't the most elite, but the halberds really help. And there's one unit of Chosen which is allowed to be attacked down. Lovely Fireball 360 no scope here by Archeon. Straight into Henwin, who's a big target. I mean, I would be a little disappointed if Archeon didn't miss. And with that, he does break. So, unfortunately, that is a loss for my Lizardman build, guys. There, Valiant Defeat. Let's look at the end stats. Yeah, there's my opponent's name there, Kaldor Drago. He's a really nice guy, actually. He's really helpful. Gave me a lot of hints and tips. I believe he's quite an experienced player on Total War. So if any of you guys have played Total War, you might have bumped into him before. I really like his build. The Halberds really do work against the large dinosaurs, and they're elite enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Temple Guard, especially the Chosen ones. Marauders are pretty decent at just dealing with skinks. Overall, very nice army. Now, my army, it still worked pretty well. It was a very close battle there. Maybe if I manage to get off that last... A uh, heal from the Revification Crystal. I might have just about managed to sneak out, but I'm unsure that Henwin may have run anyway. I was so close to breaking his forces, but Archeon just about survived, and that's what I think cost it for me. So the Umbral Tide did get caught a little bit short. They still did a little bit of damage. The Skinks didn't do too much. They did a decent amount of damage against Marauders, however, but the Temple Guard just held these guys. One of these two, I'm not sure here, was stood to the last. The Star Chamber Guardians really did fight very hard, holding back his army for a long time. Overall, super fun battle, very close. And yeah, I did, I did actually a couple of games against Kalador Dragio here. And yeah, I didn't think I actually managed to win one. He managed to just about defeat me, I think, in the three or four games we played. But all of them were super close, and those are the games I love the most. Even if you lose, but the game's really competitive and close, it's good fun. It was nice to chuck myself and try and you know test myself against a competitive player. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like or subscribe or a comment down below. I do have a Patreon, Patreon account now, which is super cool. So for those who don't know what Patreon is, you can go on there and support me by becoming a member or just doing little donations. And these donations all go back into the channel and help buy DLCs. The bonuses of becoming a member, apart from being able to, you know, talk to me, which obviously is the biggest bonus. But you also get to help vote on what DLCs I buy, what armies I face and use, and also what campaigns I do. So hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, peace. See you next time.